Hi, it's Leah from buildasitewithleah.com. Today I want to talk to you about container boxes. Container boxes are an easy way to design your page by grouping things together. You can add a box and then add any type of element you want to a box and then move it as one unit. From the left side of the Wix editor, you'll click the Add button and then select Box. Look for the category Marked Container Boxes and then you can choose the style or color that you prefer and drag it out into position on your site. You'll want to resize it depending on the elements that you plan on adding to the box. Let's make it just a little bit bigger and then I'm going to add these elements that I've already prepared. So let's add this text here and click on it and drag it into position and you'll see a message pop up attached to box and that means now it's going to be treated as one unit. Great. Let's do the same with this clip art. And there's the message. Great. So of course you'd play around. You can add anything that you would like to the box and that includes any kind of text, a shape, a form. It's really very flexible depending on your needs. It can give your site a nice professional look and just makes it easy when you're moving things around because now instead of having to move every single element separately, you can just use the drag handle and move things around as one unit. Excellent. So the two other things I want to mention, if you want to treat these elements or detach them from the container box, you simply would select the element. You can click on it or use the shift key and then drag the element completely off the box and then, then it would be detached. And lastly, sometimes when you're working with numerous elements, things um, are overlapping and so it's hard to work on them individually. So if that happens, you can simply click the right menu, so right click, and you'll see overlapping items, select the items, select a range, and then you'll be able to either send them to the back, move them forward, whatever you need to do so that you can work on that element. So that's it for this brief tutorial on how to add a container box. Now it's your turn to give it a try. I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks so much for watching.